how to get the information out of a phone you found. Um, you know when you switch your phone on and it's SIM locked, you know, it's asking you for the four digit code, etc. If you pop the SIM out, you'll find a lot of the stuff is actually locked in the phone and not in the SIM. Um, that means that you can access things like the Facebook account, photos, etc. Why would you do that? Well, what we had is somebody had left a bag in the front of the van. Now, I thought it was at the school, so we took it into the school about three, four weeks ago, um, and nobody picked it up. So we went and got it back, and we went back to the house, and the phone was flat by then, but lucky enough, it's a Samsung phone, so we recharged the phone, took the SIM out, got the photos, got the Facebook account, and track down the family. <coughs> Problem with all the phone numbers, you say, well, why don't you just phone the phone numbers? They're all in Sweden. <laughs> so there is no local phone numbers whatsoever in there. Um, but also we didn't know who's who in their, their phone book. Um, so we just messaged everybody we could find on Facebook. And yesterday, somebody um, come to the house to get their phone back. Why would I go to that much hassle with somebody's new Samsung phone? The way I look at it is it's nice to actually show there's some good people still out there um, because the fact is that phone is worth something to somebody. They earned it, etc., etc. It's theirs. Um, I'm not I'm not one to take somebody else's stuff. Simple as that. But <clears throat> the other thing is it shows there's good people still out there, which is important to me. That's why... I, when I'm in the Philippines, I try to be the civilized person, um, just to show there is some good people out there. Um, but anyway, so they got the phone back. What was quite funny, though, is they were trying to give us money for returning their phone. And it was watching April fighting off these old age pensioners trying to forcibly give her money, which is quite, quite amusing. Um, so, But it, they really appreciate it. They weren't expecting the phone. And even their, their family, their contacts on Facebook were like, like, well, somebody's given the phone back. So, But here in the markets, what you find is the Romanian gypsies, and I'll say Romanian gypsies because I want to separate them from Romanians that actually work for a living. Um, they pickpocket. They're thieves. They are the scum of Europe. Um, and I say that in quite a bold way because it's not just here, but all the tourist spots you will find these vermin. Um, I absolutely detest them. And like I said, I'm not saying Romanians, I'm saying specific people within that uh, country um, they do it for a living and I, I had my wallet stolen here about two years ago and the police actually returned it um, I think it was nearly a year later or something but the police actually returned it to our property in La Mata bear in mind we didn't ever give them that address or anything but they knew um, for whatever reason it must have matched up with something in my ID or something that it was mine and they just mailed it straight to me that's what I like about Spain, you know, they're better organised in the UK. In the UK, I'm very likely to get the police go, well, it's not my problem. It's like when they get all the DVD players and all that sort of stuff from drug addict um, burglaries. They don't give them all back. They just go, well, it's up to you, go and find it. It's at the auction. People go sell it all at the auction and sell it all. Um, I'll, I'll leave it at that, but let's just say most of the stuff doesn't get returned to the owners in the UK, and that really bugs me because they're not doing their job properly. Um, but when I had my wallet stolen, I went to the police station, and I'm trying to communicate. Bear in mind my Spanish was non-existent almost, and the guy just got a carrier bag and went like that, and it it was full of wallets and purses that had been stolen that morning. What happens, you see, with these scum that steal, they don't want any possessions. They only want cash because the police are already aware who these people are. So they will catch them if they can. But if they catch them and they've only got money on them, you can't say, well, that Joe Bloggs knows. Even if you said, well, I wrote all my numbers down, 
doesn't really matter because they go, oh yeah, but I bought something at the shop that was in my change or whatever. You know, it's very difficult. But they've got they're caught with your mobile phone, your passport, your um, driver's license or something else. It's obviously yours, one hundred percent. So that's what what they do is they take the money out and throw the wallets. And obviously, I think this mobile phone was the exact same because it was in this little leather purse. I think her money was in there. Uh, they've took the money and thrown the phone away in the bag. I hate those people. I really hate them. People that steal from hardworking people, I despise them with vengeance. All right, thanks for watching.